Hi Cancers, it's me, Sin. I'm ready to do your reading. It smells so good in here, Palo Santo going. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. I want to take a look at and find out what may be blocking your blessing. What do you need to know, Cancer? Especially if you're feeling a bit stuck or you have been feeling like something's been blocking your stuck energy for a few weeks, months, years. This is definitely your reading. Let's see what's blocking this from coming in, from manifesting, blocking a particular energy of yours from maybe leveling up a little bit easier. What's making it so tough? What do you need to know from your angels, your guides? We're going to get an animal spirit card here to get a sense of your energy, a spirit, a personality, a vibe that you're being asked to embody maybe we'll see all right cancer and then we're gonna shuffle our tarot cards if you're new to the channel welcome back oh no <laughs> if you're new <laughs> welcome in i'm sin the cancerian i love making videos for empath healers and for my ogs hey y'all how you doing hey yo cancer Oh, what's this doing in here? Ah, the hummingbird. How did you get in here? We're going to take it. That's so weird. I didn't even know that was in there. Okay, <laughs> we're going to take that card for sure. All right, kids, I'm ready to kick off here. We're going to meet this card with another one. We're also going to grab while we're at it some moonology cards to accompany this and we're going to flip all of them over at the same time okay one by one i should say bottom of the deck let's kick off here is what do you need to release ah a beautiful message so releasing something may be the root here of cleansing your aura cleansing activating your chakras being able to allow new things to come in Spirit is definitely asking a clear question here. What do you need to release? You know, this is like that message of open your arms to release and then receive. Interesting. And sometimes we don't even really know that we're holding on to something. We don't know, you know, conscious on a conscious level, we think everything's fine. We think that we're doing the best we can. And you probably are, Cancer. You're doing everything you can. This is not your fault. Your soul is pure and perfect and free. And I guess... I like to think of us on this earth as our purpose is just trying to get back, trying to remember what our soul already knows, trying to get back to that truth, that freedom. So Cancer, we are all on that journey of practicing and, and releasing and just trying to get back to the truth that we already know that lives within us, our birthright, right? To be wealthy, to be successful, to be free, to be at peace, happy. You deserve all these things. So kicking off here with the hummingbird accompanied by the wow, the tiger, divine feminine energy right here. Let's go ahead and put these two bad boys <laughs> side by side. The hummingbird and the tiger. Look at this. La Luna energy. Wow, Cancer. Whew, this is going to be a good reading. Show the world the real you. What may be blocking your blessing, Cancer, is maybe you're sleeping on yourself here. This tiger energy is clearly saying, Cancer, that you have nothing to fear, okay, except you activating your own power, right? It's the, the awakening of your own power. So it's it's interesting because this, this reading is about to go deep, deep down within you here. There may be a fear of your own power, a fear of your own potential. That's why I was like, you're sleeping on yourself a little bit here. Okay. You are not maybe opening up to the real you. There may be something blocking this, something that needs to be released. This hummingbird energy is absolutely divinely like positive it's like this buzzing little happy-go-lucky childlike energy this energy of being really smart being very curious to learn this is like the beginner's mindset you know not letting 
all the things that, you know, adulthood get you down, still being in that very young, vibrant, curious energy, not being very pushy, not being very insistent, not getting in that adult energy of grumpy or entitlement. I expect this, I, this should come to me, this should happen. You're just being so enthusiastic and ready to just soak up the nectar you know i always love the the energy of the beak like ready to put your little beak in anything and and learn from everything right the hummingbird energy is someone who sees and finds inspiration and creativity and joy and all these things can find it and soak it up out of anything so already cancer a big guidance is here for you is there's this shift that needs to happen probably is already happening in your energy with ganesha right here in the middle of this reading trying to remove obstacles the shift here is you learning to return to what brings you nourishment what brings you rejuvenation what recharges you okay because this energy is all about nature creativity exploring allowing deep sides of yourself to come out that feminine subconscious energy with the moon here hmm this may be a good time to take a class cancer you're definitely in an energy of being very spiritually resourceful trying to get back to your yin energy which is all about being more than doing so if you've been doing, 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 doing and wondering, OK, why isn't it adding up? Spirit is saying, OK, you got to fall back, go back, way back, more back. You have to sit in the silence, spend some time, more time in silence, drinking in this energy of calm, the quiet, the stillness. It's going to awaken passion within you, sensuality within you, like meditation is really going to be beneficial for, for you guys watching this. OK, something like my 21 day uh, journey that's always on YouTube here, free for you to use. That's going to be a great way to shift your energy and clear any blockages out for sure. Hmm, Cancer, this is really, really cool. OK, so let's see here. Let's go ahead. Actually, Spirit is telling me to grab one more from here before we move forward. You are good enough. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, Cancer. What do you need to release? I think you need to release the perspective that's holding you back. That's it, because anything else is not serving you. I think parts of you is this energy of feeling like I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, holding yourself back, or maybe paying attention to the things that are just not serving you. If you focus on the negativity, if you pay attention to the negativity, it's going to grow. You're going to find it. You're always going to find a jealous person. You're always going to find the person that is seemingly blocking you or holding you back or this, the shitty situations, right? But Spirit is saying here, you are good enough. You are worthy. And this feels to me like I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you watching this, you are storing a lot of emotions. It's almost like you maybe have a vault within your heart, within your body somewhere where you put all of the hard things. Almost like you put a bomb into a vault and you close the door just so and it blows up in there and you're seemingly unaffected on the outside, right? So that's that energy of maybe you've always had to stay so strong. You have other people to take care of. You don't even have time or energy to break down or to really feel your feelings. You may even be a person who's always feeling like they have to be positive all the time, right? That's another way that we avoid feeling our feelings, like trying to just cover over everything with affirmations or feeling like you have to be positive or being down or, or, or on yourself whenever you have these contrasting feelings. Cancer, I think you need to release some pent up stuck emotions because these feelings don't just go away. They get stuck in your body, blocking your chakras. Maybe it's time to stop looking backward and start looking forward to let something go to start fresh to make new memories to have new thoughts about things new perspectives Ooh, cancer and okay let's get into this oh talk about new beginnings ace of swords is coming right out exactly this ace of swords is always like my king arthur card you know that story of a king arthur like he steps up to the to the stone or whatever where the, sh the sword is stuck and no one can take that sword out except for him and i think in the beginning when the wise magician or whatever told him 
you can you can take out the sword he didn't believe it he's like no i can't what are you talking about i can't do that <laughs> so it's very interesting that the ace of swords is coming out to say ah you got this you yield the sword only you you can clear out any of these obstacles this is a lot of clarity that's going to be coming to you helping you to show the world the real you helping you to access this is that vibe right your power thank you spirit nothing to fear here except for the awakening of your own power so honey the ace of swords is coming out to be like child nothing is about to block your blessing claim that claim that aha uh -huh. <laughs> talk about obstacles being removed the tower in reverse Ooh, the queen of swords look at her with the sword in reverse though and the five of pentacles in reverse oh my god this reading yes I have so much to tell you already the synchronicities here the tower with this um uh tiger energy this tiger energy the the shadow side of this is someone who is overly stimulated right someone who's maybe feeling this anxiety that is caused by an overwhelm by an overstimulation not being able to sit down and shut up you know not not having enough of the quiet enough of the calmness enough of the stillness and it's interesting because the queen of swords and the shadow side of the hummingbird and the queen of swords in reverse that's someone who's pushy someone who's insistent or someone who is big can cut all like, you know cutting away the good things maybe with with that sword the first guidance I'm getting about this cancer is slow things down for yourself, right? Because stress is such a tricky thing. Stress is not only this emotion or feeling, stress can, can lead to physical symptoms. I mean, all of our emotions, all the stuff that goes on in our mind, in our hearts, or all these feelings can lead to physical symptoms, physical manifestations. You can literally make yourself sick. Stress can literally cause tumors to grow. This is real, y'all. So it's very interesting here how you're kind of being told this message of what do you need to release and the tower in reverse <laughs> the truth hurts a little bit here cancer so stick with me if you're getting triggered by this reading breathe pause maybe watch it again this is one of those readings that we are all gonna need at a certain point in time these reminders i will probably need this reading as well okay so is this a breakdown cancer is this a breakthrough this the queen of swords in reverse the tower something may be hurting your ego this may be an experience or situations that spirit is putting you through to humble the shiz out of you right this is actually going to turn out well for you that's a big big sign i see especially with the ace of swords the ace of swords is all about challenging new beginnings it's all about um the gods the goddesses little tricks on you to push you to be better to push you to learn like this literally to awaken your power mm, and just like that you pick up all the pieces you let it go you release 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 and start fresh it's really important that you have people around you that keep you focused and grounded because the winds of change are going to uproot things that seem permanent. They're going to change your whole perspective on things. That's what this is telling me. It's trying to change this, the deep rooted possible things that are holding you back with this five of pentacles in reverse, this, this deep rooted subconscious, like feeling that you're not good enough and nothing's ever good enough that you're lacking. It's not serving you. Because interestingly enough, with this energy, with these deep rooted wounds, when you actually get all the things that you think you want or you, all the things that you think are being denied you, that even will not be enough. So spirit is like, we're not going to put you through that. Let's actually do the work now. Let's clear the foundation now and build something solid. So when we give you these blessings, you are able to handle it. You're able to appreciate it and you can keep it. You can grow it, multiply it. You can share it with others around you. Hmm. So instead of resisting, instead of fighting, instead of defending, this is really nice that you are going to fall back, go back, way back, more back. You're going to start processing your emotions. You're going to find beautiful ways to cope with stress, to ground down and to recharge. All right, you're going to be activating your chakras, releasing blocks 
Some of you are going to be literally carrying trauma, generational trauma, stuff that's been stuck with you for years that you didn't even know. It's ready for all that to be cleared. It's ready for some shedding, not collecting, <laughs> okay, Cancer? And for some of you that have been feeling very overwhelmed by something, the guidance here is saying you got to take things one step at a time, honey. You got to take things one bite at a time. It's like that old proverb, you know, how do you eat an elephant? When you're looking at it, it's going to look hella overwhelming and impossible. Like you can't eat it all at once. It's a big, big, big thing, an elephant. So you got to go one bite at a time, one step at a time. So what that means is stay in the present moment with this hummingbird energy here stay focused on what is right in front of you one thing at a time prioritize only what's important and remember this energy here that's looking at me nothing is set in stone you're very close to achieving your goal hold your vision wow all these cards are really applying to you in this reading and here don't let don't let your past hold you back and remember the power of your mind if you say something you can speak these things into existence it never works out for me i have people that have been blocking me jealousy all these things i'm cursed and da, 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 da. if you speak it into existence you're making it real so screw all that Grab your sword, Arthur. Show the world the real you. Release all this baggage that's not serving you. Start one step at a time, one small effort at a time. Start with exercise, start with meditation. Find the exercise that works for you. Maybe it's dancing. For me, yoga is my pride and I mean, I am a yoga teacher. It's my pride and joy, it's my thing. It gives me two things in once. It gives me strength training, flexibility training, meditation, mind, body, soul, like that's my jam. So find what works for you, okay? Wow, Cancer, all right. I wanna kinda see, do I wanna clarify anything here with this deck, ask a few more questions, get some more tarot cards? But, oh, gosh, this reading is so freaking cool. Just the synchronicities with all the messages we got and then we flipped the tarot cards and we pulled them before. So I love when we do that to see the synchronicities because Queen of Swords is exactly that. It's someone who's, you know, cold and and, seems a little bit bitter and is really denying their emotions not really opening up and feeling their way through and a bit jaded even and the tower is that denial that maybe that refusal to change the tower in reverse right and that five of pentacles is this you're not you are good enough that low self-esteem that deep rooted like feeling of scarcity victimhood or maybe not not really having true confidence here right Look at the five of pentacles comes out again on top of that. Yeah. The fool, the four of wands in reverse, the fool and the chariot. Wow. Spirit is guiding someone here towards forget the stability, forget the security, the stuff that you always dreamt of. This is like this energy of maybe you had certain goals when you were younger as a kid. I think it's time to leave all of that behind. It's time to leave behind the, something that's chaining you. It, it's weird because the four of wands here in reverse in the context of this reading it kind of seems to me like the things that are chaining you and holding you back it's it's like almost like this feeling of upright all these things that you want to celebrate all these things that you want to receive and the fact that you are kind of waiting hoping wishing for it or the fact that you don't have it is actually causing all of this negativity and this energy so spirit is like screw that <laughs> You are free. This is a number zero. Begin again. Start fresh. Embrace this hummingbird energy. Everything we said about the um, uh, hummingbird. That energy of feeling like, oh, life is good. Being able to see all the beautiful things about life and make, live life to the fullest. Right? Embracing that energy getting inspired by things and move forward have adventures get your confidence back get your discipline back um and just take new risks step out of your comfort zone this is a really beautiful message here that came out to clarify the five of pentacles 
that four of wands man in reverse that's somebody that's like forgetting the importance like forgetting what really matters in life or forgetting the importance of the simple things right so spirit is it's almost like pushing you to to remember with the full card it's like remember what really matters don't get caught up in the dra uh, drama don't get caught up in feeling disconnected or feeling blocked feeling stuck or or any of that you know free yourself with the fool here and i mean the chariot is my favorite that's you cancer the, the chariot is that energy of, of harnessing the good and the bad like take advantage of the light and the shadow be in harmony being balanced with that understand that for there to be light the shadow must exist you know and and, and use it you know it's, it's exactly like the ace of swords here be determined, you know, have confidence, have that willpower and travel, you know, spend your money wisely, forget all that, go on a retreat, go on an experience, go on a cruise, an expedition, like get out of your usual bubble, your, your usual flow, your usual mindset, you know, let's see, after this reading, the fact that you were here and you watched all this, what do you have to look forward to? You're going to shift everything you are absolutely open ready to begin again you're free to fly my hummingbird so what do you have to look forward to spirit can you tell us here what do they have to look okay there's one bottom of the deck we see the high priestess yeah awakening your power look at you <laughs> <laughs> in the quiet in the silence in the stillness ha you see that synchronicity meditate 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 y'all you can even do moving meditations like tai chi or walking in nature with no music no distractions just being one with the energy around you Ooh, what do you have to look forward to we see the moon getting more deep with the subconscious exactly you're probably going to activate some gifts all of this moon synchronicities here the moon look at the moon on her head look at the moon with the tiger okay this you have probably psychic abilities gifts here stuff to awaken seven of cups oh my gosh you have to look forward to lots like brand new ideas brand new opportunities this is like options right and and this is also a big guidance of saying hey coming up you're gonna need to move forward without knowing the full picture cancer that's a big message here you're gonna need to trust more than you doubt and you're going to need to get used to the unknown and get used to making choices without be seeing the full picture without knowing what's going to happen next get used to trusting yourself get used to like almost like activating your third eye your sixth and seventh chakra I have a really good meditation about that here on the channel. Somebody please remind me to link it in the in the comments. It's like my third eye activation meditation. Oh, you guys are going to benefit from that greatly. All right, Cancer, this is awesome. Six of Wands is at the bottom of the deck here. I just got to show you that. Six of Wands chilling right there. Your victory. Any other messages for those watching? Let's get some more messages for them. Bottom of the deck here, career changes. Expect career changes. And some of you, that's awakening to your own power, having more confidence, having more faith in yourself, knowing that you're good enough and you're worthy. This mental and perspective shift is going to lead you to be like, you know what? Screw this job. I'm not afraid. I'm going to go. I'm going to move. I'm going to travel. I'm going to start my own business or I trust that I'm going to get something better. That's an easy way to level yourself up. That's a way that sometimes we don't realize we're the ones blocking ourselves. You're get you're staying stuck in a career where you can't grow or you're not fulfilled, where you're feeling blocked day, with your day to day life or your day to day routine. You have the power to change this. You just got to believe in yourself. Have faith. Trust more than you doubt and go for it and take action and be determined, be confident, chariot full energy and whimsical <laughs> all at the same time and have fun with it all at the same time, right? This is like this energy of follow the fun, screw the stability, screw what we always thought this societal idea of success, screw the material things, just follow the fun, follow your heart. Wow, this is such a powerful reading i'm so glad i was guided to do this bottom of the deck shift your focus off the problems to see the solutions you have all that you need 
Let's flip these cards over. Let me put my high priestess right in the middle here. She looks so pretty with these two. You get have more fun. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what's blocking your blessing. You too stiff. You turn it into the queen of swords in reverse. That is not a cute energy. Okay. <laughs> Clearing. Obstacles are being removed. Make space. Yeah, tower. Allow this tower to happen. Some of you, this tower in reverse is like you're holding on to shit. The spirit has been trying to move this stuff out of the way. One step at a time. Oh my God. We said that. Ah! The synchronicities. Cancer, I'm so freaking fired up. I feel like this reading is going to be so transformative for some of you out there and it's going to so like totally shift everything for you. You get give freely, support others, give expecting nothing in return. Maybe what's holding you back is you holding on too tightly to your money, right? You don't get rich by hoarding your money. You get rich by hoarding your time. Okay, begin again. Today is a fresh start. Your path is clear to begin where you are. Boom, Ace of Swords. Embrace change. Wow, Tower in Reverse. Yeah, guys, you've outgrown your comfort zone. Time to explore new possibilities. Cancer, I am floored like this. <laughs> This reading was so damn in sync. I can't even handle it. Let's get some last little action cards here. What do you need to do before we go? And if you're interested in joining me and meeting me and coming to have the best getaway once in a lifetime unforgettable experience, then you definitely want to head over to cancerianretreats.com to check out all that's included in my Bali and Greece retreats, summer 2023. And we may be going to Bali again at the end of 2023, start of 2024. Just head over there to take, take a look at everything to join my mailing list so you can stay in the loop with all these awesome things happening. Exercise. Oh my God. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> I told you to do this. Woo. Plan. Listen. That is high priestess listen all the answers i always love this quote from from oprah i don't know maybe it's from the color purple also god is speaking all the time all the answers are always blowing in the wind you just have to listen yeah stay quiet enough be still enough to really listen and then you will be able to shift and cleanse yeah clearing I love you guys. I hope that this has helped you. Everything you need to know will be in the description box below. This is the start of the rest of your life. <laughs> I love you and I will see you on the next video. I'm sending you so much light and positive energy until we meet again. Bye.